my name is Terry Sproul, and I want to welcome you to my studio. Tonight is our Tuesday night live show, and tonight we're going to work in the art journal again. So I'm going to go ahead and switch cameras, and we're going to go down to my desk, and we're going to start playing in the art journal tonight. Give me a second here to change cameras. Okay. Now, this is a journal that I um, I just started. It's a brand new journal, but I had happened to have a few pages in here that had leftover paint or whatever in them. And this is actually one of the first pages, so we're going to work with it. So I'm not 100% positive what the background is here. I think it might be high flows from Golden, but we're going to play with those tonight um, anyways. The other possibilities, it could be Dilution Sprays. I don't know. So with that in mind, the fact that I don't know what this is in the background, <laughs> I kind of have to be careful what I'm going to do next over it. Because if it is Dilutions, it could reactivate it. But if it's um, Golden High Flows, they have acrylic in it, so it won't reactivate it. So we'll see what happens. And I found this napkin that I thought kind of had the same colors kind of going that I have in the background. And I've talked to you guys about this in the past. You want to pull off all three. Um, there's two layers of white. You want to get down to just the basic napkin. And I did do that off camera. Now, since I'm not 100% positive about my background, what material this is, and I don't want it to necessarily activate, I am going to use Golden's Gel Medium and a dry paintbrush. So this paintbrush is dry, has no water on it. And that will help me have um, not activate the paint if it is dilutions or something that can activate. So that's just gonna that's kind of my protection for myself because I'm not sure. And that's a really good tip in general. If you do use something like um, distressed inks or something in your background, that you're not sh uh, that you want to put something else over that that will activate. Always use a dry paintbrush. Okay, so I'm going to drop this down. And I am going to put um, a coat over the top of it also. And the reason for that is it's going to act as a um, as a primer for me or um, a sealant. That's the word actually I'm lo really looking for. A sealant for anything that I do over this. Now you do got to be careful when you do this because this is a napkin and it is very thin. And I almost ripped it right there, so that's why I <laughs> happened to bring up. Be careful. <laughs> so I'm just going to continue laying this down. And it isn't seem to be activating at all. So I am thinking that that's probably uh, high flows. If you guys, I haven't played with high flows in a while. That's why I decided to pull them out tonight. Actually, I came into my studio this morning and I went, what am I going to do tonight, to be honest? <laughs> and I went, you know, I haven't played with my high flows in a long time. Let's, be, let's pull those out. So there we go. And you can get golden high flows at um, something like Michael's or Dick Blix. Um, all of those places have you know, high flows. And they are a lot of fun to play with. So again, I'm just putting a nice little layer over top of this. Again, trying to be nice and easy on it so I don't rip it. Okay. I am going to just go around the edges and rip off the excess. And it actually will show me where I missed too. I got some kind of exciting news. I have been dreaming of going to Italy forever. Um, hi, Debbie. There is that paper. 
here is that paper. What paper, Monica? I'm not sure about your question. It says, hello there is that paper. This right here that I'm laying on here, no, this is a napkin. I'll show you. Oh, where's my other one? You know what I'm saying as far as a napkin goes? Oh, hold on. You know, like uh, these type of napkins. You take off the layers, the white layers, and you use only the print. And that's what I'm doing here. So I hope that, I think that answers your question, Monica. So this isn't paper, this isn't, and what makes it nice is it, because it's, um, you know, a napkin, it's really like tissue paper, or it is tissue paper, it's real thin, um, it, it'll be translucent, so you could put um, something like text underneath this, and it would show through and it'd be kind of cool. So it's kind of a really fun technique. See how the, the color's coming through as the gel medium dries? So anyway, back to my dream. I have been wanting to go to Italy my whole life since, uh, and I always wanted to go on my 50th birthday. Well, my 50th birthday is coming up in March. So, I am going to Italy in September. I booked my trip last night. <clears throat> now, I thought your dream was to go to Paris. All these things I send you are about Paris, and here you want to go to Italy. I, I, I want to see the Eiffel Tower in Paris, and I tried to see if I could fit that in, but it's not working out. So, I'm just going to do Italy. But yes, I do love the Eiffel Tower. And I think Joe should just have to take me to the uh, Eiffel Tower. I better bring Joe Morgan first. <laughs> you can bring him along. I don't care. Well, there goes the fun in that trip. <laughs> I didn't hear that. Okay. That's probably dry enough. It's not perfect. Um, now I'm going to grab my high flows. These are the high flows. Golden high flows. It's not um, focusing really well yet. But they um, come in either translucent. Uh, you, you can get transparent. They say right across the top in black if they're transparent. And I think I have one here that's... No, all the ones I have on my desk are transparent. You do need to shake them. And there's a little ball in there, and never shake on camera. Uh, so make sure you shake them um, good enough that the little ball starts moving around. That is important, so make sure you do that. And then these work really well with lots of water. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this gel medium off to the side here. I'm going to get some napkins, and I'm going to get ready to make some drips. So let's put some napkins down here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my high flows. Now, uh, the colors I have, I need to be careful when I'm putting them on. I've talked to you guys about this before. If I put the pink and green next to each other, they're going to make brown. So I'm going to make sure I don't do that. So I'm kind of going to work on where, how I think I should go. So that's kind of my, I have my little combination going over here. I'm going to start with this uh, fluorescent pink. This is one of my favorites. Is anybody else experiencing what's called skips? The show goes in a few minutes and then it stops. Um, so it's freezing for you, Barbara. I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe it's the weather. I apologize if you're having any problems. So anyways, it's I'm going to take... It's on this end, Terry, so I think you're broadcasting okay. Okay. So I'm just going to throw some, oh, sorry about that, off camera there a little. Let me bring that up later. So I'm putting some high flows up across the top here, and then I'm going to grab a water contain water bottle, and I'm going to let those drip. Having malfunctions here. I need, I need more room. There we go. Okay, let me grab this orange. This is a fluorescent orange. I really love the fluorescence in these high flows. They're just a lot of fun. I 
That one's not shaking up well. And then I'm going to grab this uh, magenta. Again, I'm going to squirt. Let it do its dripping there. Oh, I like that. Okay, I'm going to put a little more of this pink right here in the middle. Um, I'm going to go with this magenta again. These work really nice with lots of water. If you, um, the more water you use with them, the, the, the more they spread and mix and just make happiness. I'll do another background in the future with these. Again, because we haven't played with them in a while. So let me see what we got going on here. Oh, I like it. Okay, let me just clean up at bottom here. Now, look how cool this looks. I really like that. Let me do just a little bit of drying. Get this little piece out of here. Now, since this is acrylic paint, and I have got it dry over here, I can come in with the green now and add a little of this green to give it some balance. And it won't make brown, or it shouldn't make brown. Okay, that's looking good. It's more balanced now. Okay. Let's take all those away. I have all kinds of stuff on my desk tonight. I wasn't exactly sure exactly where I was going to go, but we're going to just go with it. I got some molding paste. We find a spatula, and where is that stencil I was going to use? I'm just going to grab a stencil and some light molding paste, just to give us some texture and some uh, depth. And when you do a stencil, you don't need to do a big, huge section. Actually, it's more pleasing to the eye if you do just little things like that. So, you know, a lot of people think that they got the stencil and they got to do this whole image here. Really, the less the, the less you do, the more pleasing it will be to the eye. So, you do want to balance it, though, around your page. And a lot of times I will um, make sure I have an odd number. I don't. You know, it's not a hard, fast rule, I'll say, but I will a lot of times make sure I have like a, an odd number going across. Like right now I have four and I probably try to get a fifth one in or fifth one in here for you or for me. So there's a fifth one. So that's a pretty nice balance going across the page and I'm happy with that. And make sure you clean your um, stencils off when you're done. Always important. Um, and as far as what kind of molding paste, I did use a light molding paste here. And that's only because it dries quicker for me. But really, any molding paste is fine.
So just doing a quick dry again. I like my background so far. It's nice and sparkly and happy and just all kinds of fun stuff. Okay. Let's see what else I have on my desk. I have, um, I get this at the hardware store and it's actually for drywall. It's called drywall tape. And the only bad part about it is actually finding the, the end. I should have found it off camera, so I apologize. But this big roll is actually a lot bigger than this. is is pretty cheap. It's like five dollars, so you'll have it forever. And there it is. There's the end. So when you pull it apart, it has like this it's kind of a cool little, I don't know, uh, grid. And what's also cool about it is actually self adhesive. So that's kind of cool, also. But I want to, I don't want it to be so straight. So I'm going to like cut it in half and kind of do a little bit of a zigzaggy uh, motion here as I go across the page. I don't want it to be cut directly in half either. So it's very ragged, very uneven. I'm going to put, let's go down the sides with this that on each side even though it is somewhat self-adhesive I am going to go over it with gel medium because it's not going to stay down forever without gel medium so make sure you do put some gel medium down on it so that's going to also would seal it it's going to give me some really nice texture. This would be really cool as a, your full background if you did the whole background with this um, tape. It'd be really kind of cool. I might have to do that. Because that'd be really cool texture. And if you actually, this is so cool, it just came up. If you thought about like overlapping it in different angles, it would be a really cool background. And I'll cut off all this extra when I'm done. Okay, I like that. Now. I'm going to grab some silk acrylic paints and a paintbrush. Silk acrylic paints are from um, Color Art. And I want to. I need a quick dry because I want to put color over this. Okay, I have a pretty peridou and palmeria. Palmer, I'm going to start with the palmeria. And I just want to really lightly kind of touch these. Uh, white little guys I have going around here. Just to have some little bit of fun with it. I'm going to leave parts of it white. But I want to get some color in there too. I'm kind of just like touching them. Now I'm going to do that same thing on the uh, edge where I just put that. And I'm not going to paint it in completely because even though it could make brown, I'm going to go in with the green now. Clean off my paintbrush. Because it will make brown if I completely mix the colors. And kind of just do that same touch up. So this is a very bright, happy page, isn't it? Sorry, I haven't been watching for uh, questions. I apologize. I'm kind of getting into my little paint here. I'm just kind of like going for it. I haven't seen any in the chat window. Okay. I can't see the Q&A window, though. 
I am kind of watching that, so I apologize if I've missed any questions. So, uh, I don't think so. Looks like everybody's questions are good. Okay. So, okay. So that looks good. Happy with that. Let's close my hair in that one. No. Oh, while I have this out, I have some pretty doilies that I want to, <laughs> I know you guys have done this before. You end up having the tiniest little section to actually paint. Or do something. So I'm going to take the same colors that I just used. And I'm going to paint this doily. And my hair. And I have this other doily right here that I want to paint pink. Change paint brushes. So I'm trying to clean it. And these uh, paints from Color Art are very translucent, which is kind of nice. You can um, layer these paints really, really well. They're probably one of the best paints to um, layer. Actually, and so are the um, Golden um, High Flows, the translucent ones. They, they layer really nice, as you've seen on the background when we started. Look how pretty that is. <laughs> Okay, grab a baby wipe. Okay, pull this back in here. Now, I always try to, it's not even dry yet, and I'm trying to put it down. That's kind of my idea there. Yeah. So I'm going, I think I'm going with that. I think that's where it's going. So this is um, two doilies, and I just painted them. So I'm going to glue those down right there. And then this is a, um, it's not really kind of chipboard. It's kind of thicker than chipboard. And I got this over at used to be Gina K's, but it's now um, Gypsy, something Gypsy, Gypsy Laser Cut, that's it. And that's where I got that. So I'm going to glue those down real quick. Actually, do I like it there or do I like it there? I think I'm going to go with it on this side. I'm just going to grab plain old adhesive. Nothing too fancy. Oh, I hope that was adhesive, or is that just white paint? I think that was white paint. Grab the wrong one. <laughs> I have a bunch of these hanging around, and I thought this was the one that had glue in it. Nope, that one says glue on it. This is white paint. Oh, well. Live and learn. I have gel medium on my desk. It's no big deal. <laughs> But that was funny. I'm going to have to wipe this thing off though because I just got paint on it. So again, putting gel medium behind this one. I'm going to seal it down with the gel medium. So yes, I took the big plunge last night and I booked my trip to Italy. I'm going by myself, but I'm going with a group, um, a tour, I should say. I won't know anybody at the tour, but that's okay. 
it's been my dream and I've always wanted to go and it's just not working out that nobody, anybody can go with me. So I'm just going to go. Okay. I'm going to grab that dream because it's my dream. So I'm going to make it come true. Hold that down there just for a second because it's kind of thick and I want to make sure it like molds to the background of the paper or the paper molds to the background of it. So, there we go. Okay, I like that. It's a colorful, fun page. And definitely think about getting yourself some of these golden high flows. We'll use them again and make a really cool background again, like kind of like what we started with. So you'll see um, more of what it could do. Actually, I made this. I, I did this earlier. I grabbed this flower and I had some high flows. I was checking to see if the uh, color was right, so I laid it down, and then I actually took this flower and I just rubbed it into the high flows. So I'm going to add that flower in there too. Okay. Now the only thing I'll have to do is cut these um, extra edges off, and We'll be good. I'll just let that dry. So again, I want to say thank you for coming by. And let me say, change cameras and say goodbye. And I hope you learned something about the high flows. Again, I'll use them again. Um, they're really awesome to play with. They're um, extremely high pigmented, which is really cool about them. So you can add a lot of water to them and you're still going to get amazing colors. They don't wash out. That's the advantage of the high flows over a lot of other uh, acrylic paints and you wash it, adding water to them. It actually dis dissolves the color where the high flows are meant for water. So hope you learned something about the high flows tonight. Um, I'll use them again in the near future. And I want to say thank you and I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye.